So Federico's going to play his last wild card. I'm sorry, Christina, but you just contradicted yourself. You said that uh, the Metrolinx didn't come and say this is the plan, when in fact what you said was they came, here's the bridge. Well, how do you want it? They never offered the tunnel. They said this is option one. That's it. That's my point. Secondly, you said you, you criticized me for saying that if it was feasible, that I would support it. Well, of course, anybody who tells you that they're going to support a major project is either lying or they're being dishonest. <coughs> because how can you support something where you don't know all the facts, especially when the bookkeeping errors by the Liberal Party are so enormous? The math doesn't add up. That's another criticism that I was had, you know, about the PC party. Well, none of the parties have said how they're going to pay for the project that they're offering. Well, as you know, as, as you can see tonight, we're, our, our, uh, one of the fascinating and beautiful and perilous things about where we live is that we're at a time of change, really. I mean, the, um, it's, it's perceptible to us, um, the change that is affecting our neighborhood. And uh, it can go many different ways, and that's why um, this election is profound, and the next election will be profound as well. Um, and that's why we started the West End Phoenix, because um, we realized that um, it was important to document this time um, in our neighborhoods and in our catchment and capture it um, Well, all of this is happening, transport just being one element of that. Um, and if you allow me one further West End Phoenix thing, I've brought copies. I, I love the copies here. They're totally complimentary. And so pick one up uh, when you leave. A round of applause for our candidates. Erin has some very uh, valuable information to impart here. I wasn't going to make Dave pitch his own paper. I was going to oh, give him the shout out as it was. West End Phoenix, subscribe, get your free copies. Uh, we're very grateful he donated his time tonight, so the least we could do is read his fantastic paper by the door. Uh, thank you to all the candidates. It is uh, not easy stepping up. It's not easy putting yourself out there in front of the community, and it's not easy doing it on the first day of the writ. I know it's a busy day for uh, candidates. The election officially started today, so we are honored that you chose to spend your evening with us. Thank you very much. Uh, we figured it's important. We don't want to have an election event without talking about how to vote. So you're going to get in the mail uh, a householder from Elections Ontario, and uh, the election is June 7th. You'll hear all about that, I'm sure, in all the ads. Today, I went online and checked to see if I was registered because I moved between elections, and it turns out I am. So go to Elections Ontario website, and it was very easy. It somehow knew my birthday, and <laughs> da, there it is. Um, I also found out online that you can vote starting tomorrow if you're already committed to your candidate at your uh, return office, which you can find online. There's advance voting at the end of May, the 26th to the 30th found out all the kinds of identification you can use, so come ask me questions because I brought the handout if you're interested, and uh, you might want to check that you actually live in Davenport. We have these shirts that show where Davenport is, uh, but we also have a, a map by the front door as well. So thank you all again for coming this fantastic turnout. We are so grateful to everyone who's participating. We're excited to host Democracy here at New Horizons, and uh, thank you very much.